Hello everyone and welcome to my guide to understanding the puzzles of the remastered mist. In this video I will be unlocking the secrets of the stone ship age. The linking book to the stone ship age can be found in the risen ship at the dock. Check out this video if you have yet to unlock this book's location. Opening the book and placing your hand onto the panel will link you to the age. You will link onto a ship that is merged into a rocky island. You can learn more about the history of this age by reading the Stone Ship Age book in the library, though that is not necessary to solve any of the puzzles. As always, our primary goal is to find the linking book back to Mist Island. Turning aft, you will see that the lower part of the ship is flooded. You will find additional flooded areas inside the two entryways into the island. Across a boardwalk there is also a lighthouse, the lower levels of which are also flooded. Inside the lighthouse is a key hanging from a string which is unfortunately too short to reach the nearby keyhole. Continuing on, a walkway leads to the summit of the island where you will find a telescope that you can rotate. Finally, across another boardwalk there is a device. We'll start by moving the lever to the left position. Pressing the button activates the device. Returning to the ship, you will find that the entryway at the aft of the ship is no longer flooded. The steps lead to a door which opens into a large underwater and dark cabin, at the center of which is a table with a button, but of course it's not working. Returning to the pump controls, let's try the middle position. This floods the aft cabin once again, but now the two entryways into the island have been pumped out. One passage leads to the bedchamber of Cirrus, while the other leads to Akinar's bedroom. As with most of the other ages, exploring the living spaces of the two brothers gains you insight into their personalities. Don't forget, at the end of the game, you have to decide who to trust. As well, you should search for the red and blue pages that you will find in these rooms. Recall that the brothers are trapped in the red and blue books in the library on Mist Island and they have tasked you with finding these missing pages. Also, tucked away in one of the bedrooms is one half of a torn page. We need the other half to understand the instructions, but that is a problem for a different age. For now, just take a picture for later. Let's try the right setting on the pump controls. As you may have guessed, this pumps out the lower part of the lighthouse, revealing a set of stairs at the bottom of which is a locked chest. The chest sits atop a barrel connected to a guide rope leading to the higher level. Turning the spigot on the barrel empties it of water. We would like to bring the chest up to the key. To do this, close the spigot to trap air in the barrel. Return to the pump controls and select one of the other locations to reflood the lighthouse. Back at the lighthouse, you will find that the chest has now risen and is within reach of the key on the string. Use this key to unlock the chest, inside of which is another key which you can use on the keyhole on the wall. This extends the ladder rungs giving you access to the top of the lighthouse. There you will find a generator that you can charge up by turning the crank. Make sure to charge it fully. After exiting the lighthouse, note how the lights above the entryways on the island have illuminated. Traveling down, you will notice that the passageways are now lit. Even better, there is a doorway that wasn't open before. This passage leads to a large compass rose surrounded by buttons. Unless you get very lucky, pressing a button will result in an alarm sounding and the lights going out. Don't worry, you can still exit and return to the lighthouse to recharge the generator, but we need to work out which button we need to push. Incidentally, if you explore the aft cabin after recharging the generator, you will find it as dark and non-functional as it was before. The key to this lies elsewhere. Note that with the generator charged, the beacon atop the lighthouse is now working. Climb up to where the telescope is and rotate it until it is directed at the beacon. Note the compass bearing. Mine is just under 260 degrees, but this will vary with each playthrough. Return to the compass rows surrounded by buttons. You likely may have to recharge the generator again. Unfortunately, the batteries only last so long. If you are unfamiliar with compass bearings, I will provide a brief lesson here. The large yellow triangles are north, south, east, and west, with north indicated with an ornate spearhead. East, south, and west are as indicated here. North is zero degrees and we measure in a clockwise direction. That makes east 90, south 180, and west 270 degrees. 
My heading to the lighthouse was just under 260, so that's just south of west. If you count the divisions and then divide, you will find that each division is 11 and a quarter degrees. Yeah, this ain't metric. That makes my correct button one button south of due west. Getting the right button powers up some powerful underwater lights. You will also no longer need to worry about the batteries running out. Return once again to the pump controls and pump out the aft cabin. You will now find that it is not only brightly lit, but the table now works. Pressing the button reveals the linking book back to the library on Mist Island. In the library, any page that you found will be placed on the shelf as you approach either the red or blue books. You can leave the page on the shelf, but it is also perfectly safe to add the page to the matching book. With each page, Cirrus and Akinar will be able to speak more clearly. Both will claim to be wrongly imprisoned, plead for more pages, while at the same time discrediting their brother. Deciding who to trust will be a decision we will eventually have to make.